what is going on guys all right so today i want to show you how to play and expect anticipate draw how to play against that card because i, I realize that a lot of people are uh, struggling to play against troll so today i'm going to show you how to play against that hand trap and um, if you have any recommendations what what hand trap you want me to showcase to play against next let me know and i'll do that video for you guys okay all right without Better ado, let's get into our hand testing. Okay, so in this hand, if we start with Prosperity and try to aim for Simoon, we are going to lose against a uh, draw. Okay, so in general, what I would do, it doesn't even matter if you're playing against draw or not. If we have a hand like this, I would always start with normal summoning surgery at his effect. If we get Imperm, Ash, whatever, then obviously we can continue playing with prosperity and try to aim for like small world or any other like maybe even a soul synchron vata whatever so that should not be an issue here we're gonna add vata and if you get rolled over here you guys already know this is full combo for us it's not a problem here boom 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 and then we're just gonna do our normal combos as you guys know okay so that's number one another hand so over here, we have two options. Okay, we have two options over here. We can start with Lubellion because you guys know that Assault Synchron and Lubellion will already give us Baron, uh, Disparta, yeah, Baron and Disparta. Okay, so we already know that. If we start, if we, however, decide to start with Black Werb and with Shamal, what we can get is uh, Disparta. Assault Synchron, uh, sorry, the Sparta, Black Wing Assault Dragon, Full Armor Master, Shangar, and Chinook. Okay, so here it's up to you. It's up to you what you guys want to start with. I would I would suggest to always start with Lobelion first. And then add Zarnia. And if you get drilled over here, it's not a problem because you already know we can just do this, this. And then you yeah, special summon this. Go into our combos. Here I would suggest to do first Zarnia and then Axel. Otherwise one Ash can also uh, prevent you from playing. And then yeah, you guys already know. This is combos. Activate the salt synchron. Get this potter right back. Activate this potter. And if you do have regained obese in your deck, then now you can activate the balance effect to get regained obese. And then go here into our own. Here. And then usually I would start with Black Well and Shaman if you don't get dropped. Yeah, perfect, perfect. We're just gonna start here, boom, boom. And if you get rolled already here, it's a wrap. By the way, if you're playing only one black feather weapon, I would suggest you get water and then uh, Chinook to your hand. Okay, easy. In general, like we should not lose against troll. Here. Normal summon here. Add whatever we want. In this kind of case, I would, to be honest, because sometimes with hand like this, we can potentially lose to a simple uh, Ash or Imperm Vata. Sorry, yeah, Imperm or Wailer. So here, it's more smarter, more smart to add Hammer Town to your hand, because now you can play around hand traps. With hammer time okay so keep that in mind all right now with hand like this let's say you don't want to lose to a simple um draw what i would suggest to do here you can this one is also tough because depending on your matchup 
if you know you match up, you can keep the Droll and then just bridge of uh, Magnemut. But um, it really depends on what you what you're expecting. But if you do not want to lose against Droll, but by the way, with a hand like this, you can actually you can actually do this. Because let me think here real quick. Because this is now risky, right? This is kind of risky here. If you, if you want to go for Zudri, I wouldn't. Me personally, I wouldn't go into Simoon. But even if you do go into Simoon, it's not a problem. So you guys have the options. You can go into Simoon. You can go into Zudri. Or you can go into uh, Shamal. If you if you really don't, if you're really expecting Droll, then I would search for Shamal. Otherwise, if we go for Simoon and they still Droll us, it's not a problem. Because we can just play with these two. And thanks to Droll in our head, it shouldn't be, it should not be an issue. So we can just play like this. If we get Drolled. Now we got this potter. And now go into Soul Dragon. And because we wanna have access to Shanga, we're also gonna have Boreal Storm. So now we have Boreal Storm, this potter, Shanga. Uh, sorry, we have as interruptions, we have this potter, Shanga, Droll, and we have Blackwing Dragon. Here, we cannot really get rolled. We're just gonna play with Vata, the Magnemut, and with Assault Synchro. And here again, if we have a hand like this, do not start with Small World. Do not start with Small World. Start always with Zuji first. Even though Simu might be a better one card combo, whatever combo starter, don't do it. Don't do it. As long as we have Small World and so many extenders, don't do it. Play it like this. And here, for example, do this, this, and now we have to actually go into either Simoon or Zudri. But if you're scared to play against Troll, then I would suggest to go for Zudri. Because if we get rolled here, what happens is, first of all, we cannot resolve that, right? But that's fine. We still got our Feather Weapons, and we can special summon this one. So not a problem. We can go here, like this. And then... Give me a second, I gotta think here real quick. Uh -huh. There's some Zudri. And then we have the options here. We can we can actually send Vata. So we have two different bows that we can do right now. We could send, we can send Zephyros to the graveyard. And then we can go into Axel. Let's try this. I'm gonna send that. And then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. Change them all. Get Vata to our hand. Burn. Our additional normal summon that we could use.
Oh shoot, I misplayed here. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go into uh, Axel first. Ah, fuck. Um, that was not the plan. Um, okay. So what I was supposed to do was use Vata and Nofung. Hold on, let me see if I can get this real quick again. Give me a second. All right, we're back. So don't activate Vata's effect. Go into Axel. Activate his effect. Get Vata back. Okay, just like that. And now you can activate. First of all, you can go into Baron de Fleur if you want to, but I wouldn't do that. I would activate now Vata's effect to send Zephyros. Along with Chinook, the Black Wing Dragon out. Now you can activate Zephyr's effect to bounce. Do this. Activate again. Now we can summon our Soul Dragon. And then we can activate this to a special summon. Um, give me a second. We could go for Zudri. Do do. Yeah, we're gonna go for Zudri. And we're gonna activate Zudri's effect tribute. And then chain assault synchron to get him back. And we can use these two to go into this part. Huh? And we could use this part as effect to get back either Borea Storm, Assault Synchron. Whatever you guys want. Why not? Let's go with him. And go for another Assault Dragon. Yeah. And if you have now another Extender, you can also use that Extender with Suji. Also possible. So many options, man. And this was on the draw. With a bad hand, I would say. Yeah. Another hand. Do not start with Lubellion. Start with Zudri first. And then search for Shamal. And then that's fine. Here, this is actually the best hand. The best hand. You can start with Prosperity, Small Will, whatever. Like, this is the best hand. Here, there is no way that you can do anything wrong. The only thing that you could do that would be wrong is if you use Small World banish Vata or Shamal to add like anything else because then if you get rolled you are screwed if you want to use small world use magnum mood otherwise prosperity whatever i'm gonna do another video where to show you how to use prosperity so um yeah i'm not gonna use this right now but this already as long as we have Vata Shamal we're already playing through draw there's not even a chance that our opponent can activate draw if you don't use prosperity or small world because this is already whatever we want. And like this, for example. Do not start with Prosperity, guys. Do not start with Prosperity. Always Lubellion first. Get Zarnir. And now play whatever you want to play. Okay? Because if you get drawn, it's cool. We can still play. By the way, with hand like this, we can actually play really, really well. Yeah, check this out. Because with Zephyros and Shamal, yo, this is insane. This is insane. Here, let me let me just do this right here real quick for you. This hand is actually busted. Now you want to activate Shamal's effect. And then chain this to special summon Shamal. Crazy thing is you could... Oh, there's so many ways that you can play right now. If you are not scared of Nibiru, you can even do... Even crazier things, man. This is insane. 
I really like this hand. All right. Uh, let me do this. Boom. Paint that. So we got the options actually. We have so many options, man. I really enjoyed this one. Let me think here real quick. Oh, this is insane. Give me a second. All right, we have two options over here, guys. And uh, we can have either Baron de Fleur, Lil Knight, and this Potter, or Baron de Fleur. Draco Berserker this Potter, or we could have Chaos Angel with Light Dark Effect plus Little Knight plus Draco Berserker and uh, this Pater. Okay, if you want to go into only um, got the brother's name. If you want to go only into the uh, if you if you can miss on Baron de Fleur. Like right now we can go into Baron de Fleur. And then use only these two to go into Lil Knight or Draco Berserk, right? But if you want to have one card more than that. We can do this. Go here into. By the way, we can actually use Lil Knight. We can actually go right now into Lil Knight. Yeah, like this. Bounce. Get him right back. That's oh, we could even oh shit, we have oh shit, that is insane actually. Oh, let me cook, guys. Let me cook. Oh shit, I have an idea. Potentially also sent this card. And then I could go into full armor master. Paint this brother. Get him to my hands. I don't want to use this yet. Special summon this. Interesting. We could go here into another full armor mass right now. Ah. Okay, this was not the board that I intentionally wanted to do. But it also works, I guess. But you guys understand, like, there's so many ways, man. Damn. I could have had right now, instead of a uh, Little Knight, uh, sorry, instead of Draco Chaos Angel, there could have also been a Draco Berserker. I could have also had that. So it would be Little Knight, Assault Dragon, Draco Berserker, Dispater, and Full Armor Master. Right now, which is insane. Yeah, so many options. So many options. All right. Here we have the issue that um you need to know what you want to lose against. I would suggest though to uh, you guys already know if we start here with Shamal normal summon at 
Black Robins. Like, that's already fine. But if we get ashed on Black Robins, it's hard. But this one is really tough, actually. You guys need to know what you want to play, lose or play against. The other thing that you could do is use small worlds. Okay, depending on, because if you don't want to lose to too many hand traps, add to like only one hand trap. Because if you get drilled right here, it's cool. I, I just showed you a couple turns ago how to play with this hand and still set up a solid board. So that's not, that's still something, right? But yeah. Okay, now with prosperity, in a scenario like this, you always have to banish six. I'll show you guys in another video what cards to banish. Well, yeah, with a hand like this. <laughs> Best thing that we can do is actually here is to add Shanga. Because if we get if we get uh, drilled right now, it's fine. I, I guys, I just showed you guys how to play with those two cards, and then thanks to Magnumut, you can even um, have like another body besides instead of Boreal Storm, you can have another full armor master. And then we got Valor and uh, Ash. So that's fine. Here in a, in a scenario like this where Small World. Well, you could use Small World to banish Valta and then banish one of your Bissels to get Shamal to your hand if you want to prevent. Yeah, you know what? I would do this. Check this out. Check this out. With a hand like this, because you got prosperity. You have prosperity, that's not a problem. Do this first. Okay, do this. Add Shamal. And if you get drilled, it's fine. If you do not get drilled, it's cool. We're going to start with prosperity. And honestly here, we can actually banish only three cards. One, two, three. Nice. Add Zephyros, insane. And now we can actually play also around around something like um around something like I forgot his name uh Imperm or Ash on Vata because if Vata gets Ash or Imperm whatever let's say Vata gets Impermed we're just gonna do this do chain one Chain two, special summon Zephyros again. Then Zudri. So many options. We could have also gone to a Nothung line. Use these two. Fine. Do this. Uh, did I use Shamal yet? I don't know, but yeah, we could use now Vata, for example, with Zephyros to go into um, Nothung. Uh, unfortunately, I'll just banish Nothung, but we could go here right now into Nothung. And then chain one Nothung, chain two. Uh, chain two Shamal to get Zudri back to hand, and then we could additional normal summon him. But on the draw, we can now search again. Um, hmm. 
But yeah, there's some things that you can definitely do. One or two things. Yeah. Alright, with a hand like this, this unfortunately will lose either anyway. Like the only thing we can do here is we have to start with smooth because otherwise we're losing to everything. Like if we do anything else, we we're gonna lose to Jolt either way. But now if you get Jolt here, there's not much that we can do now with those two cards. The best thing really, the best thing that you could really do here is tribute to moon like only draco berserker you can go into draco berserker or go into shanga uh burial stone with shanga that is really unfortunate so this is the first time that you would actually lose to a draw but then we still have one interruption but yeah usually you should not lose a draw though yeah, I, I feel like you guys get the point. Because this deck is supposed to be really uh, immune to any one-off hand trap. Uh, single hand traps. One, one hand trap should usually not be enough to beat this deck. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this one helped you. Helped you. Helped you. Help you, yeah, help you. And if you want to know, uh, if you want to know how to play against any other hand traps, let me know which which hand trap I should focus on next. It's, it can be Nibiru on the fifth summon. It can be Nibiru, whatever, on the la on the last summon, like after doing our board or whatever. Let me know. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye bye.